Hello, today a very quick unboxing first impressions of my brand new watch. As you can see, it's a Baum et Mercier, a Swiss made watch. And this particular model I have been eyeing for more than a year and now I finally got it in a really, really great deal. And uh, without further ado, let's just remove this cardboard top. Inside you have a very nice letter box. We have the extensive manual. So here we have the letterbox, very nice brown with gold printing. And inside the box, ta-da! So this is the Baum et Mercier Clifton Baumatic 5-Day Power Reserve Watch. So this was a brand new introduction in January 2018. At this Basel World, they just released new versions of this watch, but it does come in in several versions in the original run of the watch. So this particular version is the 10,400, the white-faced one with the steel bracelet. And I was actually hoping to find this watch on the leather strap because I think it looks really, really good on the dark blue leather strap. But I got a great deal uh, with the bracelet, with the watch on the bracelet from a guy in Italy selling this watch. And I must say, after I have tried on this watch, I have, this is of course not a true unboxing because I already unboxed this watch as I had it delivered to my office. And uh, I'm, I'm not very good at just sitting around looking at, uh, at boxes. So of course I unboxed it. And I must say, this bracelet is absolutely amazing. So, this is of course just an initial impressions, my first impressions, my first thoughts about this watch. So a warranty card inside of the box. The spare links, as you can see, we get a lot of extra links. I have an 18 centimeter wrist size in circumference, so we get a lot of spare links for the bracelet. So it's if you have a, a larger wrist than me, then you will have absolutely no problem fitting this watch. So a very simple hang tag as well. So of course, everything is about the watch. So what is so special about this watch? So this is the first time that Baum et Mercier actually included a somewhat in-house automatic movement. So they, they made a great manually wound movement, but this uh, movement is just a step up. And the crazy thing about this movement is that you have 120 hours of power reserve. So five days, Ex absolutely amazing power reserve in my opinion. So the movement is the caliber BM12-1975A, a completely not in-house movement. It is quite an in-house movement, but it is not made by the company. It's made by Val Florier, which is also owned by the parent company that owns Baum et Mercier. So it is the closest closest you can get to an in-house movement without being an in-house movement, but it is an absolutely amazing movement. And this watch is just a big, big improvement of what we see from Swiss watch companies because they actually listened to the clients. They looked at the clients. They looked at what a modern watch wearer wants today. So of course you want a very nice proportioned watch. So 40 millimeter watch, domed sapphire crystal, very leg legible watch. You of course also want a date window so you can see what date it is. And this is very well made because it's, uh, I really like the font and it also just kind of blends into the watch. You don't want a lot of writing. You want a very accurate watch. So what they did with this movement was that they actually made all movements within the COSC specifications. So this is between minus six and plus four, I believe this movement is. But you can also get this watch in a COSSC certified version, which is even more accurate, but it's more expensive than this one. So what do we also want? We want a very tasty package, very wearable. So why not make a very slim, great looking watch at around 10 millimeters in thickness, 40 millimeters in di diameter. Why not make a watch with an amazing looking movements, all sorts of different finishing going on. We have Perlage, we have Geneva striping, and we have this kind of spider ring, I believe it's called. So three finishes on this uh, movement. Also sapphire crystal on the back. 
a very nice and tasty package in my opinion. Signed crown and nice finishing on the case so we get polished and brushed finishes. So a five day power reserve, which is absolutely some of the most, one of the most important things watch companies should really look into today. So we can't really live in 2019 with a power reserve of 38 hours as we see with many of the Salita and ETA movements. The watch company simply needs to step up the game. So that's why we see Tudor and Rolex stepping up the game. Also Tag Heuer, also Oris with with movements with automatic movements with a power reserve of 70 hours and upwards. So this is much more than 70 hours. So you can you can actually wear this watch during the weekend. Then you can put it down, and on Friday evening you can put on the watch again before the weekend, and it's still running. Everything is just perfect, perfectly running with this watch. So I got a really great deal of on this watch and I really got this watch because I think the specifications are absolutely amazing. I think it's an absolutely beautiful watch and I also really just needed a more dressy kind of classic looking watch in my collection and that's what I got now. If you look at the dial, if you look at it almost looks like it's kind of a porcelain dial. It is actually lacquered, a lacquered dial, but it, it looks like it's kind of a porcelain dial, which looks just really, really classic. Super legible. I really like how that pin kind of needle secondhand just really touches perfectly on the hour markings. As you can see, just see down here at 30 minutes at six o'clock. Perfectly made. I really like those small details with watches, but this was actually bought at the end of August last year. So it's not really been worn that much. The seller said he was only wearing this watch during the weekend. And I can really see that it's really been kept in perfect shape. Definitely the movement is the star of this watch, but I also think the overall package is just so well made. I will be back with the full review. This was just a quick unboxing, first impressions, just a quick update on my new watch here in my collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below and follow my Instagram and Facebook profiles for much more watch content. And I will of course be back with the full review. Thank you. Bye.